present the Champion of Change Award to Congressman Joe Kennedy III. I would like to invite Maureen Gallagher and John Anton back to the uh, podium here. Well, we are delighted to have Congressman Kennedy with us here this morning. We met him for the very first time last year, and he took a lot of time with us, letting us know how important services and programs and policy is to him for people with disabilities. And uh, he signed on immediately uh, to the ABLE Act, and we know that we can count on him to be here as a tireless champion advocating for people with Down syndrome and their families. So we're delighted to have you on the Hill, and we really look forward to continuing to work with you. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. That's uh, an extraordinary kind of introduction. I am so honored to be able to receive this award, Chip. Thank you so very much. Uh, this is a special honor for me. This is obviously a, uh, the work that all of you do has been close to my heart and that of so many members of my family for a very, very long time. Um, my uh, great aunt Eunice and the work that's carried on by uh, both of her sons, Timmy Schreiber with Special Olympics and uh, Anthony with Best Buddies, uh, two organizations that I've been very proud to be involved with over the course of the past several years. Uh, uh, two organizations that I've been very proud to continue to work on for the past several years, and I think really what I think the work that you do is all about. And I'm really just here to say thank you for your advocacy and your efforts. Uh, those organizations, as I think you know, with my own unit, started out of her connection and a very special relationship that she had with her sister, my own sister. And uh, Special Olympics actually started initially as a competition in her backyard. Uh, in Chicago and 60s and has now grown into a worldwide operation today. And I just thought it would be fitting. I, I wrote it down because I know I wasn't screwed up. I think uh, my aunt Eunice, as she often did, put things very succinctly. Um, she said, All human beings are created equal in the sense that each have the capacity for hunger, for moral excellence, for courage, for friendship, and for love. Whatever the speed of our feet or the power of our arms, each of us is capable of these highest virtues. Intelligence does not limit love nor wealth does produce friendship. I can't think of an organization that more carries out that vision and that dedication of, and really tries to make sure that we as a society live up to the best of our values and virtues. And uh, from my perspective, I just want to thank each and every one of you for all that you do to try to make good on that promise that we make to each other. So thank you so much. Thank you for this. Experience.